Bernard Purdy, you are magic. There will never be anyone with the style, presence, charisma, and feel of Bernard Pretty Purdy. With a smile that can light up a room and a groove that absolutely makes the walls sweat. One of the biggest thrills of my life was getting to play double drums with Purdy at his birthday celebration back in 2006. To feel his sense of time, dynamics, and the inner locomotion of those magic snare drum grace notes, it was groove heaven. A couple months later, I went down to see him play and he said, hey, you play drums, I'm gonna go dance. We had so much fun, it was so great. One of the most amazing things about living in New York is having the chance to see Bernard play in a club setting. To sit 10 feet away from a living legend, to feel his sound, touch, and incredible groove have been some of the most inspiring nights of music in my life. Fact is, I try to soak it in anywhere I can. Bought the book twice and had him sign it. I love his hi-hat sound so much, I thought, well, I'll have him sign mine. I even put a sticker of him on my mic pre in my drum studio. <laughs> when he signed this photo for me, I thought I had died and gone to heaven. Bernard, you have touched so many lives with your amazing spirit, and we love you so very, very much. Hello friends, I'm DJ Lance Rock. I'm here in my record room and I've pulled a few albums that all have something in common. Not only are they some of my favorite records to listen to, they all are graced with the musical magic of the maestro himself, Bernard Pretty Purdy. Bernard, I just want to say it's been an honor and a privilege to watch you record. It's been an honor and a privilege to watch you perform. And it's been an honor and a privilege to be your friend. You made the rock and DJ Lance rock, rock steady. And always remember, Bernard Pretty Purdy, you are awesome! Okay, so there are some people that you meet in your life that blow you away as being incredible musicians. At least in my line of work, I meet some incredible musicians. But very rarely do you meet someone that's an incredible musician, an incredible person, and just makes your life better when you're around them. No one grooves like Bernard. No one is as human as Bernard. He's a wonderful, wonderful human, and my life is better for knowing him. Hey, Bernard. Joe Lamond here, President and CEO of NAM, sending our best and uh, congratulating you on being recognized and uh, for this great event too, by the way. Uh, wonderful, wonderful event and charity. Um, just sending our best here from the NAM headquarters in Carlsbad, California, and uh, wanted to just um, let you know how much you have inspired me personally through the years. Um, just your story, obviously, of just perseverance and hard work and all those things that you know every drummer should know. But mainly the impact you've had on me was I spent years and years and years as a drummer trying to perfect the 
Purdy Shuffle. Um, try as I might, I failed miserably, and at one point ultimately looked in the mirror and said, Joe, this ain't gonna happen. You need to get a day job. And, uh, you know, that was it. Uh, my life has been a horrible mess ever since that time. So I want to thank you, I guess, as a way I'm trying to, you know, as a roundabout way, I want to thank you uh, for crushing my dreams and absolutely making me realize that I could never, absolutely ever capture the feel, the true feel of the pretty shuffle. <laughs> anyway, you've inspired all of us, drummers everywhere, musicians everywhere, uh, we just love you, Bernard, and uh, congratulations again. Thanks. Bye-bye. Alan Freeman, how are you? Missing you, man. I heard you're doing a, a tribute to the pretty one. Now, you know most Bernards are pretty, but very few are as pretty as Bernard Pretty Purdy. I hope it goes well. Sending him you some love. Talk to you soon. Bernard, it's always an honor when I get to work with you. You always bring that special creativity to everything you do. That groove is unmistakable. When I get to play with you live, my feet can't stop moving. It's always a gas. What I'm most grateful for is our friendship over the last 20 or 30 years. Those barbecues, I'll never forget. And those recording sessions where we take a break for lunch and you hop on the grill, those are some good meals. You deserve all the accolades and honors that come your way. Love you, Bernard. Thank you for the friendship. I can only say that Bernard Purdy has influenced me, probably every other drummer on the planet. His skills, his feel, the Purdy shuffle, Whatever he plays, it is absolutely played from his heart. And his heart is huge. He's inspired and continues to inspire. So for that, Bernard, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for constantly bringing me to a higher level, not only as a player, but as a person. Thank you so much, Bernard. Cecilia, you're wonderful. Stay well and live long. Ah, Bernard. The joy that you exude whilst playing with your historical percussion skills, or is it hysterical in this case? I'm not sure. Is unlike anyone else on the planet, or off for that matter. <laughs> they broke the mold, folks, and I'm not talking about Jello. You and I have had wonderful experiences together. We've laughed together, we have played together. We've even eaten together. Uh, there are a series of restaurants on both the East and West Coast that will never forget our quote-unquote visits. <laughs> You've honored me so much by being at my home, being at my studio, playing my personal drums and giving them the opportunity to be blessed by your touch, your feel, your aftershave. Your spirit lingers forever. How lucky, how blessed I've been to know you since I was just a kid hanging out at Atlantic Studios watching my father, Arif, produce records. The memory of Atlantic's house kit, your blue mother of pearl sonar drums is forever etched in my memory. I used to ask permission to play those drums when there wasn't a session or sometimes even in between takes. I was having the privilege of a lifetime as a kid watching my father produce countless hits featuring Bernard Pretty Purdy on Hall & Oates' She's Gone, Aretha Franklin's Until You Come Back to Me. To say that your inimitable groove, impeccable taste, and signature fills were grandly influential would be also an understatement, not to mention the seminal impact you had on this budding drummer of 10 years old, basically. I remember taking a group lesson with you with a few other kids my age. We each add our uh, turn at the drums and we each tried to outdo each other. And after we were done, you in a quiet voice said, it's not about showing off. It's about playing good time and listening and imparted all sorts of other wisdom to us that I wish I could still remember. Thank you, Bernard, for your generosity, for your artistry, and for all you've given and continue to give to us and to music with all my love and all my respect. <laughs> uh, prolific drummers, 
it's just vast and deep and meaningful, but your influence on younger drummers, no less than your influence on myself, is just as profound and deep and meaningful from all the advice you've given on posture and groove and feel and making people dance and being in control of the band and making sure they follow you um, to even just showing me simple grooves and feels like on the kit back here. It's just been the coolest learning experience any young drummer can have and I'm eternally grateful for everything you've shown me and passing the wisdom on and making sure that I'm carrying the torch of groove and feel for years to come. Bernard, you've been not only a great client uh, and friend of ours for the past few years, I love calling myself your accountant, but you know what? Um, you're now our family and uh, we love you and Celia eternally and we love every time we get together we just love all the uh, um, the love and the events the stories that you share it's just it's just terrific so uh, without belaboring all this we wanted to just thank you for a lifetime of music and the achievement um, on the drums and the influence that you've had um, over 80 years and um, so suffice it to say you're the greatest it was awesome putting this together for you and I guess there's only uh, two things left to say. One, I will make sure to always have ranch dressing every time we take you out for dinner because I know you won't eat a salad without it. And the second last thing I want to say is here's to you, Bernard. And let's have everybody who's here today give a warm Connecticut welcome to the one and only Bernard Purdy and YouTube's premier music educator, Rick Beato. I remember when I first heard Kid Charlemagne by Steely Dan and just hearing your deep infectious groove made me realize who I wanted to be as a musician. I wanted to be you. I still want to be you. And thank you for helping me get to where I am today. Thanks so much for everything. And thanks to folks like you who inspired folks like me to play drums. I get to do it for a living and I'm so happy and honored to be able to tell you what an inspiration you were for me as a young child drummer growing up watching your instructional videos and then through college getting your CDs of your awesome band and always wondering how in the world do you make the drums sound so innovative and so funky all the time with a, I always just wonder how can he do that it's just such an amazing way that you have uh, feel on the drums and touch and musicality um, all the records you've done, it goes on and on. Thank you for everything you've done for myself and all the other musicians and drummers around the world. Bernard, I just wanna say that you are so loved and appreciated in the drumming and the music community. Your contributions to music and drumming are immeasurable. And you are such an innovator, such a brilliant musician. Thank you for all that you've given to us Everyone loves you. We appreciate you. Thank you, my man. So much of what Bernard Purdy does resonates with me, whether it's, you know, his incredible grooves or the Purdy shuffle, obviously, that is just, you know, emanates throughout the entire drumming community. But more than anything, it's really his pure joy of playing. And that pure joy of playing is something that on my best days, I try to do my best to also exude. So thank you, Bernard Purdy. You are a master. Uh, you are a genius. You are a giant. And you are an incredible influence on me. So thank you for that. Uh, my first encounter with Mr. Purdy was when I was attending junior college back in the 70s, 1977 to be exact, when that iconic Asia album came out. 
and the director of our composition class came in that day with the LP and said, uh, we're not going to be studying any music today, we're just going to listen to this record. And I remember all the amazing tracks, we all know all those tracks, but the one that hit me the hardest and just has stayed with me forever is Mr. Purdy and Mr. Rainey on that Home at Last. That shuffle, those syncopated fills just to this day is a lesson in the Purdy Shuffle, the Purdy Shuffle. And then uh, every once in a while I will go on YouTube and I will type in the Purdy Shuffle and I will watch six minutes and 37 seconds of pure heaven with Mr. Purdy on that sonar kit explaining, teaching us how to play the Purdy Shuffle. The first time I remember hearing Bernard would have been, of course, Babylon Sisters from Steely Dan. It's so iconic. And I think the thing that struck me about Bernard's playing was how effortlessly he played the groove. It just seemed so easy for him. It was like a, a stone skimming on the surface of a lake. He didn't play very hard. He didn't have to. He let the mics do the work. He played with such a great dynamic and pressure. And uh, he just made it feel great. And I had the chance once to play with Chuck Rainey. And with this artist at a rehearsal, we were going to play the Purdy Shuffle, which I did. And Bernard was very complimentary, and I thought everything was going great. I closed my eyes. I'm getting into the groove playing it. And when I opened my eyes, unbeknownst to me, Bernard had been invited to the rehearsal. He was standing over the drum kit right in my face with a huge smile on his hat. And he yelled, You're fighting it! Let me show you the Purdy Shuffle. I thought, fantastic. A lesson from the master. And sure enough, Bernard sits down, and it's something only he can do. He plays it effortlessly, and he played the hi-hat like he was threading the eye of a needle, just the way he was grooving it. It was so beautiful to watch. And just as I thought, total ease, completely natural, effortless, beautiful. But as Andrew Owelbeck said, don't judge a book by its cover. To show how much we love you, each night this week we're sh shining a spotlight on a talented grandma on our show. So tonight's Nana is Dorothea Taylor. She is 71 years old, and she's from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And tonight she's going to play the drums for us. Come on out here, yeah. Dorothea! <laughs> Welcome to The Tonight Show. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I know you have uh, three children. How many grandkids do you have? I have two grandchildren. One 13, who's going to be a musician, too, and an eight-month-old. Ah, oh, come on. Well, you got to love that book. Brand uh, new. Uh, congratulations. You're going to play the uh, drums for us, but I, I heard that you had a special request. I would love to have a drum off with Questlove. <laughs> a drum off! With Quest Love, now we're talking. Uh
Come on back. Oh, what can I say? A tribute to Bernard Purdy. Wow. What would we drummers have done without that signature sound, that signature shuffle? Whenever I play a gig and people hear the, the shuffle, they always come up and make a comment. How do you know how to play that shuffle? And how do you shuffle like that? And my answer is Bernard Purdy. And they kind of look at me. Yes, that's, that's the man. That's where this shuffle uh, influence is from. And so um, things like uh, The Fool in the Rain and, and Rosanna, what would we have done without that Bernard Purdy shuffle feel? And all the good things that you have done over the years, many people that you have played with. So this is well-deserved. Thank you, Bernard Purdy. Hi, people. I'm George Benson, and I'm here to talk about my friend Bernard Pretty Purdy. That was the name I heard when I first came to New York as a sideman musician, and I made some early records, and some of them were with Bernard Pretty Purdy. Right away, I knew and recognized the love that people had for him. He was a very unique drummer. He's still today one of the greatest and unique drummers of our time. So I hope you love him as much as I do. As a matter of fact, I'm sure you do. And I'd like to take my hats off to Bernard Pretty Purdy. Congratulations, Bernard, and whatever happened good for me in this music business was due a large part to you championing me for so many years, allowing me to play with you early when I was beginning, seeing how it was supposed to be done, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. And I got a chance to play with the greatest rhythm and blues drummer of all time, Bernard Pretty Purdy. And like I always say, Bernard, if the Naval Observatory wants to get the correct time, they have to call Bernard Pretty Purdy to get the correct time. Right? Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Tito Puente Jr. I just want to come on and say I love you. I appreciate you. You know who I'm talking to. It's you right there. The influence in my drumming career, Mr. Bernard Purdy. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Uh, it's incredible. You're catalog, your incredible history, your career. We appreciate you. I appreciate you. And I just want to send my love and regards to you on this beautiful night. Thank you, Bernard, for everything you do. Bye, ya. Hey, it's Leland Sklar here, um, commenting on the incredibly fantastic, wonderful, brilliant Bernard Purdy. I've always been a fan of Bernard's playing, and I was so fortunate when I got asked to play on a tribute to Jeff Picaro album, and I got to play with Bernard on it doing Babylon Sisters. Um, it was one of the highlights of my life. In fact, it was the highlight of my life. Um, and uh, 
that's what Bernard asked me to say. So I'm just, just you know, I'm being sincere now. Okay. Love you, Bernard, man. You are just the best. And um, I look forward to the next time we get to play together because you are an absolute gift to any bass player lucky enough to get to get, do a gig with you. So take care and all the best. Bye-bye, buddy. Yo, Bernard. Dr. Chuck Rainey here with a lot of love and respect and honoring you and with others on this very special occasion. I am thankful to have had you by my side during my career in organized music. You are a very special and unique musician to play with and I trust that the universe will continue to offer you its best as you move forward. Enjoy this day, my Gemini brother, and press on with a smile, which I know you will, you always have. What's happening, everybody? Marcus Miller here. Bernard Pretty Purdy. Oh, my goodness. Aretha Franklin, King Curtis, Jimmy McGriff, Hank Crawford, Roberta and Donnie, Steely Dan, The Beatles, James Brown. I could do this for at least an hour. This guy has added his magic to so many incredible recordings. He is truly a legend. And there are certain rhythms. Who owns rhythm? Nobody can own rhythm. No, that's not right. Because Bernard Purdy, there are certain rhythms that he owns. Like, but that is, is, is. Whenever a drummer plays that, he needs to take $5 and put it in the plate behind him and send it to Bernard Purdy because that's his beat. And the Purdy Shuffle, everybody knows about the Purdy Shuffle. He owns certain rhythms. That's incredible. Anyway, someone definitely worth honoring. I'm proud to participate in this honoring of Mr. Bernard Pretty Purdy. Love you, brother. Continue on. Hi, Bernard. This is Will Lee here. You know. I would just like to tell you something you might not know. When I was just coming up and making a little bit of money, what would I do with it? I would go right down the colonies, right down the nappies, fish through all the albums and find everything I could with you and, and my friend Chuck Rainey on those records. And that's where my money went. So, you owe me, basically. All kidding aside, <laughs> I'm doing okay. And nothing like you though, my friend. You are a man who has reigned supreme through sheer tenacity, soul, funk, and groove, and love. Throughout the 60s, you killed in the 70s. You ate the 80s for breakfast. You ate the 90s for lunch. You burned it up in the, in the aughts. You reign supreme again in the teens, and now you're killing it in the 20s. What's next? I can't wait to find out, but I know it's going to be going on for a long time, so here's to you, and I can't wait to see what you're up to next, and thank you for all the years of inspiration and the fun we've had playing, and I love you madly, and you know that. It's to you, here's to you, Bugsy, here's to you, Pretty Purdy, Bernard Pretty Purdy. Hello, Bernard. You know, I played with Cher on and off for probably 20 years. And at some point she said, you know, I'm not a diva, I'm an icon. Well, Bernard, you are no longer a diva. You have been an icon forever. You've not only been an icon as a musician and having played on, what, more recorded music than any other musician, but you've also been an icon as a teacher. And I know that you and I did a couple of drumming camps in Germany together. So your value on this planet is so extraordinary for so many of us. And that groove of yours, man, it is everything. Hello there, Bernard. This is Don Perry coming to you from Southern California. And I am wanting to congratulate you and to thank you for everything that you have brought to music and our instrument over these last 60 years. 
and I don't think it would be a stretch at all to say that you have probably contributed to some of the greatest music of the last 60 years, and that legacy will live far beyond all of us here, as it should. And you, uh, you've given a lot to drummers in particular, and expanded our lexicon considerably. And I suppose that many of us here who have spent so many hours dissecting a lot of your work ought to be paying you some small royalty for the amount of stuff that we have clipped off of you over the years that you have so generously provided. So we thank you for that. And the incredible spirit and energy that you have brought to music, not to mention putting the drums front and center where they <laughs> where they belong. Anyway, thank you for everything. Have a great evening and congratulations on such an exceptional career. You deserve everything that that uh, is said about you tonight, and we all love you and appreciate you, and wish you all the best and many more years. So thank you and good night. Bye for now. Mr. Purdy, I'm Stephen Perkins. Thank you for everything you've done. When you lay it down, no matter what artist you're playing with, it sounds right. You are a pocket as deep as it goes. You're when the yo-yo goes down and you let it sit there, and then you bring it back up, walking the dog, you know how to walk the dog. Thank you for everything you've done. You inspire us all. Hi, Bernard. Rod Morgenstein here. What can be said that has not already been said? Your sense of time, feel, style, and groove is magical. And so thank you for the drumming education I and countless others have received for decades from your artistic, soulful, and musical drumming. Simply put, you are the creme de la creme. Hello, Bernard Purdy. It's Will Calhoun here. It's a pleasure to be a part of this fantastic video. I just would like to personally thank you for all of your masterful contributions you have given to us. And to be selfish to me personally, the amazing drum beats, the incredible pocket, the incredible musicality, something that I grew up on and being a Bronx guy, as you know, your beats were probably the most sampled next to Clyde Stubblefields. So uh, you have been involved in my career in the music industry in so many different and assorted generations. So Bernard Purdy, I love you. I know the world does. I know the music industry does. And we certainly owe you a great debt of love and support. And I know you're out there still doing it. I, I see it online. Congratulations to that as well. And that's about it, brother. If I get too long on this, I'm going to break the violins out and put a sample of your drumming on there and have to rap to it. You don't want to do that. I don't want to piss anybody off. So all the best to you. Love you. Peace. There are many drummers who play on hit singles, but only a few that can help make a single a hit. Bernard Purdy is one of the few. From as far back as 1966 with J.J. Jackson's But It's All Right, to Aretha Franklin's Rock Steady and Steely Dan's Home at Last, where he established the Purdy Shuffle, Bernard solidified himself in history as a legend. As just mentioned, the man has a groove named after him. What more can he ask for? My thanks, my admiration, and my appreciation to you, Bernard. You and your groove have made the world a better place. Hello, Alan. This is Walfredo Reyes Jr. And I'm here to thank you for doing such a great tribute to Bernard Purdy the one and only, the shuffle would not be the same without Bernard Purdy. And I wanna thank Bernard for all the contributions to the drum world and all the grooves and all the people he has made dance around the world. And we love you, 
Bernard Purdy. And thank you, Alan, from the Chicago, the band dressing room, thinking of you guys today. Take care. Bernard Purdy, Chuck Berge here from Billy Joel's band. Just sending you all the love and respect. And I have to say that you have been one of my main influences my whole life. And the whole music business will be so much less than it is now without your talent, your input, and your phenomenal abilities. I love you huge. I hope to meet you someday. Thanks so much. Hey, this is Kenny Arnoff in my studio, Uncommon Studios LA, Bernard Purdy. Funkiest, coolest, funkiest, coolest, funkiest, coolest, groovinest, funkiest, coolest drummer. One of the greatest drummers ever. There is no way you don't hear him on the radio when the radio is playing. He recorded so many hit singles and he did some very, 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 very special grooves and beats. And we all know he's done. So Ber Bernard Purdy, you're a bad mofo. Ladies and gentlemen, to the best of the best, to the baddest of the baddest, the prettiest of the prettiest, Bernard Purdy Purdy. Woo! The only man who's got a beat named after himself to shuffle. Only the hits, baby. I only play on the hits. That would be you. You're an inspiration to millions of kids growing up. Still to this day, millions of kids picking up those sticks, and I'm at the front of the line. Bernard, I love you so much. Whew, you're the best. I can't wait to see you soon. Thank you so much for coming to see my little group. Man, wow. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Ha! Oh, I love you. I just love you. The things you did for this industry. Listen, to me. this is my favorite part about Bernard Purdy. Who else can you name that has a beat or rhythm named after him? Besides Bo Diddley, which he does on the guitar. But on the drums, it's Buddy Rich. Hey, do the Buddy Rich. No. Hey, do the Neil Peart. No. Even do the Steve Gadd. No. Do the purdy shuffle. Come on, give me a break. Give me a break. Nobody else has a rhythm named after them. Bernard, you have influenced so many people and so many people have stole from you. <laughs> and I love being with you and your beautiful wife, Celia. We just <laughs> laugh so much. It's such a great time when we're together. We miss you, me and Anna. Wish you the happiest of happy birthdays. And um, yeah, well, I'm sorry there's a little bit of an echo, but this is the only room I could find that it was quiet. So until we meet again, my friend, I've finished my business here. I will see you later. Bye. Happy birthday. Here's to you, Bernard, my good friend Bernard Purdy, and one of the greatest drummers in the world. Many hits you have played on. Many things people have used from you. I used ch 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 and I was, hey, I was glad to use it, and it's glad to know you, and wonderful to have a good friend like you. God bless you, my brother. Peace. Hi, Bernard. Harvey Mason here, sending congratulations on this most deserved tribute. Your career has truly been amazing, and I'll never forget listening to your many recordings, especially Aretha's. We play that record every Sunday morning, Amazing Grace. Thank you for your most memorable drumming creations, the Purdy Shuffle and pss, pss, pss. Wishing you continued health, wealth, and happiness. Maestro Bernard Purdy, this is Michael Shreve wishing you all the best and just taking a moment to tell you how much I've appreciated you all my playing years. I got turned on to you by my friend David Garibaldi 
when we were living together in 1970 in San Francisco. I started listening to all your stuff, and it was so beautiful, and I came across a tune from the album Brother Jug by Gene Ammons, and there was a song on there that you were playing on that I thought would be perfect for Santana. It was called Jungle Strut, and we did record the song, and it sounded great, and I'm very happy we did it. My only disappointment is we recorded it, well, with the melody too, but also because of your playing, so I wish you would have got the money, brother. I wish you all the best. Take care. Hey, Bernard, David Garibaldi here. Hey, you know, Alan Friedman uh, approached me about doing a video for you because you, I guess you have an appearance that you're doing in uh, New York in November. And uh, man, it's pretty exciting stuff. So, you know, uh, we've known each other for a very, very long time. We met in, I think, 1971. And uh, I was, you know, early years of Tower of Power, right in the very, very beginning. And we played with you. Uh, uh, you were in Aretha's band, King Curtis and the Kingpins. And we played with you guys at the CBS Records Convention in Los Angeles. That's where we first met. And then we had, you know, a bunch of contact after that. And we ended up doing the, the Fillmore show, Aretha Live at the Fillmore. And you guys were there. I mean, what an event that was, life-changing. So, you know, I just want to tell you, man, I love you. You're the best. Uh, you have had an incredible impact on me personally. You know, I don't think I'd be playing the way that I play if I hadn't heard you. And so uh, I want to thank you for that. And, man, stay healthy, stay blessed, keep doing your thing, man. We love you, and uh, I hope to see you uh, again soon down the road, my friend. All right. God bless. Bernard Purdy. I'd venture to say that every other drummer that's been a part of this testimonial for Bernard has at least one record in their collection that he's played on. Bernard Purdy is a staple in American music history. With his own style, he created a style, Groove Master, so many records. He wasn't available for everybody because he's always working. So the people that they called, their direction was, we couldn't get Bernard today. We want you to sound like Bernard. Bernard had his own purdyisms. What can I say? A master, someone I got the opportunity to know, and a great person, great musician. Forge on, Bernard Purdy. You are American music. Hey there. I just want to say, uh, hey Bernard, congratulations on being honored for this wonderful charity. And um, I just got to say, you know, I had, basically I'm not talking to you. I've told you about it before. I first ran into you when I was, uh, uh, I don't know, 16 years old, maybe. I, I was uh, maybe 66 or something, 65, 66. I was working on the American bases in, in uh, France. That's when we still had them. And uh, I walked into a can canteen and I was sitting next to a jukebox and this lanky GI walked over and popped in a dime or whatever it was to play a record back then. And and I heard, Ragadadum, da dum ba ba boom ba 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 boom boom ba 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 What is soul? Benny King, what is that? And the first thing I said was, who the hell is that drummer? You changed my life. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything that you've given us, all of us drummers, uh, but uh, uh, speaking from a personal a personal point of view, man, you gave me so much. I love you, and congratulations again. Hello, Bernard. Steve Smith here. And I want to send you a lot of love. We go way back. I know the first time I saw you was at EU Wurlitzer's, a Zoner drum clinic in Boston. And you were so convincing as a salesman for Zoner, and you played so well. The next drum set that I bought was a Zoner kit. January 1977, and I 
been playing Sonar ever since. Also around that time, I saw you play with Jeff Beck when your band was opening for the Mob Vision Orchestra with Nard and Michael Walden on drums and your performance that night with Jeff Beck was amazing. And I studied your drumming over the years, as you well know, the Aretha Franklin records, the King Curtis records, Walking in Space, the Quincy Jones record, all incredible music. You've left an indelible mark on drumming and music. When I think about you and your drumming, I think about your touch, your groove, your feel, your dynamics, your musicality, incredible integrity on the drums. Much love from Steve Smith. Groove on, my brother. Hey, Bernard. It's uh, a really nice gesture that you've been doing, you know, for the autism thing and all. And I just want to salute you for all of the other stuff that, that has happened all, throughout all these years that we've been here. Uh, grass has definitely not grown under your feet. Hope uh, that things work well, and in the future, we wish you, uh, me and my wife, we wish you a, a real solid rest of your life, man. Have a good one. Take care. Hey, this is your brother, Narda, Michael Walden. I'm here to speak on behalf of a legend, a genius in the drumming world, a humanitarian and a friend of mine, a brother of mine who really helped me, is the great Bernard Pretty Purdy. But do she did the boom? Shaka do do dunga dagga do 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 shaka do do shaka dagga do 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 shaka do do dunga dagga do 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 shaka do do sha 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 ga da. Bernard's got the skills and the wherewithal to invent the backbeat for Aretha Franklin, them great records with Aretha, and playing live on her most on the biggest gospel album in the world. Uh, that's him playing those drums. Also on the pop smash by the five stair steps in Chicago. Ooh, child. The bang. All that great tasty funk fills. Backbeat on Ooh, child is the great Bernard Purdy. Bernard Purdy has touched us in so many ways. And then I got to say, I'm very lucky on the second tour with Mob Vision Orchestra. I was 21, 22. And he was playing drums with Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck was touring on his Blow by Blow album. I was with Mob Vision Orchestra. We toured together nightly so I could watch Jeff Beck with Bernard Purdy and with Max Middleton and the cat on the bass. Uh, look at the name. Uh, will come to me shortly. But anyway, Bernard was just always in his own zone, in his beautiful zone, just a beautiful zone. And I learned by watching him. And uh, he was just always very kind to me and took me under the wing. So I want to really make sure that people... Um, Take a moment to respect at this time the beauty and heart and rhythmic joy of Bernard Purdy. I remember one time Bernard in New York, when I lived in New York, he couldn't make a gig. He said, I want you to sub for me. I was like, so taken that he would choose me to sub for him. And I went up to like McHale's or somewhere up there in, on the north side of uh, New York, wherever it was, by, by Harlem, kind of, and played this gig. And it was really cool. And then, you know, just play the groove. Don't want to do too many fills, just groove, like Bernard does. So love Bernard in honor of the master. The master, Bernard Purdy. Love you. This is Nard Michael Walton say love Bernard. Ow! Hey everybody, it's Greg Bissonette. Just wanted to tell you that Bernard Purdy, man, what a drumming icon, this guy. My friend Bernard Purdy, not only is he a great drummer, but my dad Bud and I used to hang with Bernard when we both played Mapex drums years ago. And we went to the Frankfurt show and we hung out and uh, they really had a great time hanging and I had a great time. Bernard, I love you, man. I wanna just say to the world, Wow, Bernard, the Purdy Shuffle, home at last, rock steady. So many great, great, great drum grooves. So, Bernard, love you, man. Take care. Hi, this is Russ Kunkel. I got to meet Bernard at the Telefunken event last year. 
And I have to say, it was one of the highlights of my life. He sat right in the front row with his wife as my band, The Immediate Family, played. I could have been super nervous, but what I really felt as I watched him just groove to the music was what an amazing human being this man is. Thank you, Bernard, for everything you've done and for being my friend. Congratulations. Bernard has what most of us want to have. Not all of us, though, but many of us want to have that feel-good factor that Bernard has. And uh, that's the the big, the outstanding vibe in his playing is that everything just feels good. It makes you want to dance. Even if it's a ballad, it feels sexy. Um, yeah, he's he's always got that snap in his playing that just makes you want to like snap your fingers and tap your feet and go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he just has that quality in his playing. And um, it makes everything that he plays on just feel really good. Sexy in a way. He, his playing, his grooves are sexy. They they just have attitude. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I've been digging Bernard since I was 16 years old and um, still love what he does. And um, it'll never change. Why should it? None of us ever change. And, um, yeah, the guy has been just, just, playing his ass off, delivering the goods his entire life. He sounds no different today than he did 40 years ago. All right, later, Newmark, over and out. Hi, Bernard. Anton Frigg here. How you doing, man? You know, what's so great about your playing is that you always play the perfect drum part, totally in the groove and in the most economical way. And... I love listening to you and I love learning from you. And thank you so much for all the wonderful years of music that you've given. Hi, my name is Jerry Murata and I'm here to pay tribute to my idol, um, Bernard Purdy. Now, I've been thinking a lot about this. There may be many Bernard Purdy's out there in the world, but there's only one Bernard Pretty Purdy. Um, and what can you say about Bernard that ha he hasn't already said about himself? And uh, that's funny, but it's true. And it's also well-deserved because the guy is a genius. I learned to play the drums, playing along to records. Uh, many of them that Bernard was the drummer on. When I was 10 years old, 11, 12, I remember listening to Eddie O.J. Soul at Sunrise on WLIB growing up in Westchester. Little white boy in Harrison, New York, listening to uh, WLIB, Soul at Sunrise. Don't lose your head, you need your head, your brains is in it. Thank you, Eddie OJ, somebody should do a tribute to him. But anyway, uh, Bernard, you're up there uh, with my brother, Rick Murata, in terms of huge influences on me as a musician. Uh, I've been very grateful for any time I've gotten to be in a room with you, hear you, see you, talk to you, see that giant smile and uh and hear that undeniable groove that nobody else has nobody nobody has so anyway i i could go on and on and on but bernard you are the man uh everybody knows it and uh and i love you so much uh you've been a real inspiration to me uh, seriously you know uh just just the king curtis Live at the Fillmore, you know, the fat back drums. Um, I mean, that's just like, a, you know, a, a speck of dust in terms of what you've done in your career. Um, I've listened to you over and over and over again on so many different records. And listened to you, listened to try to try to play, attempt to play like you. Um, anyway, 
Uh, love you, man. Um, I hope you're around for a long, long time. And uh, I hope you really enjoy this, this tribute um, to you. And uh, God bless. And I hope to see you soon. All right. Peace. Thank you. Hey, Bernard, it's your old friend, Rick Morata. I'm honored and happy to be able to express my appreciation for you, your work, and your influence on all of us for all of these years. Bernard Purdy is one of the great groove drummers of all time and a teacher to all of us. And uh, if you grew up in New York, you got to listen to WLIB. And if you listen to WLIB, you heard Bernard Purdy over and over again all day long. And that was groove school for me and a lot of other drummers on the East Coast. If you really wanna hear a great drummer and listen to the guy who wrote the book, anything that he did is great, but the early Aretha Live and King Curtis Live albums are phenomenal. And his work on Steely Dan's Royal Scam album is, it's just not even, you can't even comment on it. Um, in the early days, I was lucky enough to really be influenced by Bernard. And I got to hear stuff that almost nobody got to hear. And uh, I'm going to share something with all of you. Go check out this song called Bad Women, A Dime A Dozen by Jackie Thompson. And Horace Ott was the conductor. And Horace and Bernard had an incredible connection. And this is, to me, a song that I used to listen to over and over again and still do. Because if you want to hear Bernard Purdy, this is, this is Bernard Purdy. Bad women a dime a dozen. You can find this on YouTube. Listen to it and you'll really get to hear the great, great Bernard Purdy. Stay healthy, my friend. I hope to see you soon. If I were president or, let's see, if I were the king, if I could make all things possible in addition to world peace, I would certainly make it so that Bernard Purdy received a Pulitzer Prize at the very least for the incredible artistry, for the incredible music, the drumming, the joy, um, the uh, opening up uh, for the world to see uh, just what the possibilities are in a piece of music. Uh, at the time when I first experienced his drumming, um, it just seemed like uh, the best of all possible worlds. And when I look back and when all of us look back um, uh, on his great body of work, uh, it's, it's just stunning. The, uh, there's no one else that I can think of who uh, played the drums the way he has. Um, the, the tremendous combinations of ingenuity uh, rhythmic drive, spark, excitement, subtlety, um, funk. Uh, it, it, it's just, uh, it, it all adds up to Bernard Pretty Purdy. And um, if, if the good folks uh, at the Pulitzer uh, organization uh, won't give him the prize, uh, and, if, uh, and if he can't get a Nobel uh, Prize, uh, well, uh, he has our enduring thanks and our love. Um, a salute to Bernard Pretty Purdy. There's only one Pretty Purdy and there's no one prettier than you, Bernard. Oh, my dear Bernard, you are the soundtrack of our lives, uh, mine in particular. You know, you taught me how to listen. You taught me how to groove. You taught me how to dance. You taught me how to smile. You taught me how to have a good time. And most importantly, you taught me how to play with a band. 
and I'm just uh, so blessed and honored to, uh, you know, give you some props. Uh, you don't need props, man. You are the soundtrack of our lives, and uh, I truly love you and miss seeing you, and uh, I just wish you all the best. It's just my honor and blessing to be able to have learned from you. And uh, you are uh, our true legend. And um, I just, uh, I, I can't say enough about uh, the, the groove that, the word groove was literally invented by you. So um, thank you so much. I love you and uh, God bless you, buddy. Take care, bye. So hi everybody, uh, I'm gonna try to be real succinct here, talking about the great Bernard Pretty Purdy. Uh, yeah, Bernard, uh, the first time, I remember the first time I ever heard Bernard play, I was in my car uh, on Altadena Drive, about a mile from the house, and uh, <clears throat> pulled up to a uh, stop sign, and this song came on. And it killed me right away. I was going, what? Who is that playing? You know, uh, I had been studying all the greats at that point. I had barely begun in the studio. And um, so uh, I found out a little later that it was uh, The Platters. Uh, and it was a song called With This Ring. And uh, <clears throat> and um, it it floored me the the command and the beauty the beauty of the sound and the control and the and the freedom that the player was playing with and the the drums and the bass were just so conversational it was just boosting the song to further heights and it was already a cool song and great singing and everything but i had to find out more about it and when i found out that the drummer was uh pretty purdy uh I, you know, I set out trying to find out uh, everything that uh, that he had ever played on, and um, that took me to the place where the, you know, the groove master that where he got the reputation for being a groove master with uh, King Curtis and Aretha and all that great stuff. But to me, where I came in was listening to a drummer playing the structure of a song with such freedom and and such fun characteristics it, within the conversation it, it just and the way he was leading the band and the way he was playing with the bass player it was phenomenal so I became an instant uh, pretty pretty fan uh, I turned on about three years later I turned on my little brother Jeff Percaro to him played him those songs that one and uh, uh, Peaches and Herb Let's Fall in Love which gets you right at the intro uh, and um, so Jeffrey went on, obviously, to make a, a big success out of incorporating the Purdy Shuffle into one of uh, Toto's uh, biggest hits. So anyway, I could go on and on and on, but uh, since this is just uh, supposed to be a short little video, I'm done. I want to say that I love Bernard Purdy. He was one of my biggest influences out of a lot of great uh, drum influences. Bernard was one of the first and uh, that's it. Bernard Pretty Purdy. This is your friend Steve Jordan. Congratulations on this Lifetime Achievement Award. Obviously you deserve it. Your influence is legendary. But that's, but that's, but that's, you know, if you didn't learn how to play that growing up in the Bronx, where I'm from, you have to move, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the hit maker, that's right. Everything you played feels great to this day. And your influence is widespread. The sound that you and Chuck Rainey created as a team is legendary. The records that you guys created together, monumental. Um, a couple of my favorites in particular, Until You Come Back to Me, Aretha. Um, what a feel, what, a, what, such emotion. You know, you play the song 
you feel the song in the drums and in the bass, it's just incredible. Obviously, what you brought to Royal Scam, that Steely Dan album, um, that's when I became a real Steely Dan fan from that record. Obviously, you played on so many great records and you mean so much to so many. Uh, and just as a that jolly thing that you bring to music, that smile when the groove is on. There's only one Bernard Pretty Purdy. Right on. Congratulations, my man. I'm glad to call you my friend. Peace. Hey, Bernard. It's Steve. We're celebrating you, man. Um, you know, and when I think about that, it makes me realize how much you mean to me and how important you are. How high the bar was that you, you raised for all of us. And I just want to thank you for all I've learned from you about the groove, about musicianship, about playing the drums. Your, your, your career has inspired me and you inspire me. And I just want to say thank you because I've learned so much from you and and uh, and been inspired uh, from the beginning until now. You always inspire me. So I love you, man. I'm happy to celebrate you. Uh, give Celia a big squeeze and um, keep keep celebrating, man. I'm gonna keep on celebrating you. I love you. Talk to you later. That's a track I heard in 1974 at Brian Studios in London. I was recording my first rock and roll album with an artist called Dana Gillespie. The producer was John Porter, engineer was Phil Brown. <laughs> That's a long time ago. And um, we'd been there for a few weeks and Robert, who was on Island Records, apparently dropped by and dropped off a quarter inch um, tape, copy tape of the mixes. The engineer, I believe, that mixed the record was Richard uh, Digby Smith, who also recorded All Right Now, free, in that same studio. And um, we were taking a break and uh, Phil Brown spooled up the quarter inch and hit play. And Wow, to hear it through those Altec Lansing monitors that they used to have um, was really quite something. And uh, of course, Bernard, yes, I heard you on various albums, but to hear it in a studio, the pristine mix was just something absolutely wonderful. And um, yeah, it was, it was, I, I listened to this whole track and I went, Wow. I was still trying to figure out how to play a lot of these songs on sessions. I mean, I was 17 years old, you know, it was really, really new. And then a few days later, I got a call from the producer of this record, Steve Smith, saying he wanted to book me for a session. And uh, my kit was already set up. And so it was pretty late one night, Robert comes down, Steve Smith, the producer, uh, Richard Digby Smith, who's uh, uh, engineering. And it was one of the first sessions I had to play to a drum machine, which in 1974, that was, you know, was very rare. Um, but it was uh, amazing to finally be on uh, an album with you. Um, that was the first time and it was absolutely wonderful. I think we met in a hotel in Europe uh, I was on tour with Jeff Beck and uh, 
you were really very kind and generous and uh, I met you and absolutely wonderful. So Bernard, this is just a wonderful kind of uh, little happening and wonderful uh, piece of uh, world wizardry. And I wish you all the best. I'm going to drink to that. Cheers, Bernard. Take care.